Warner Brothers Discovery might just have a hit on its hands. The Penguin. Yes, the Penguin. Um, Spinoff from Matt Reeves, The Batman, which, for those of you that don't remember, Colin Farrell portrayed the Penguin in Matt Reeves, The Batman. Well, they decided to do a spinoff streaming show over on HBO Max, and it debuted last week. Now, depending on who you talk to or who you follow, uh, you're going to see a little bit of a variance in the viewership. In fact, Variety says that The Penguin opens to 5.3 million viewers across platforms in its first four days. That's that's way better than the Rings of Power season two. That's way better than Agatha all along. So we might just have ourselves a hit here. Now, Samba TV. Says there was 3.2 million households who watched the first episode of the Penguin on HBO or Max over its first four days. So 5.3 million. 3.2. So it's got to be somewhere in there. Maybe down the middle. Maybe somewhere around 4, 4.1 million. Who knows? But the fact of the matter is, is that the Penguin, when you compare it to, well, Rings of Power, um, U.S. households watched the first episode of Rings of Power Season 2 on Amazon Prime Video over its first five days, 902,000. Ouch. Now, I did do a search for Agatha all along. Couldn't find anything. Hmm. Wonder why. Maybe some of you internet sleuths out there can find something and uh, put it in the comments down below. So, I, myself, full disclosure, I haven't watched the first episode yet. I plan on watching the first episode later this afternoon after work. Um, I'm interested in, in seeing it myself. I'm interested in seeing how this is going to develop without Batman in the show. Um, which it, it, it could be a problem or it couldn't be a problem. I mean, heck, Fox did Gotham without really showing Batman till the, the series finale, even though that show was more about the development and growth of Bruce Wayne after his parents demise and what it took for him to become Batman. So this is from Variety here. Per HBO, the spinoff series starring Colin Farrell and Christian Milati opened to 5.3 million U.S. viewers across all platforms since its debut on September 29th. That includes repeat airings on HBO as well as streaming, streaming viewership. That puts it above the final season premiere of Succession, which drew 4.9 million viewers. And the second season premiere of The White Lotus, which drew 4.1 million viewers. And it's just behind True Detective Night Country, which nabbed 5.7 million viewers in its premiere. Remember, Night Country, if you, if you haven't seen the first season of Night Country, wow, watch it. It's, it's, it's a must-see. Additionally, the show has landed the biggest four-day audience for a new series on Max in every region globally since The Last of Us in January 2023. And I already went over Colin Farrell playing the Penguin. They call him Oz in this show, Oswald Cobblepot. And this series picks up just after the events that happened at the end of the Batman. Where you see Oz maneuvering to seize control of the underworld in Gotham. Because remember, toward the end of the Batman, you had the death of former crime boss Carmine Falcone. Now, over Rotten Tomatoes, it's getting 94% right now from the critics. 
Um, let's take a look at the... Just so we see here. So 94% from the critics, 89% from the audience. Okay, that's a that's an excellent sign. A lot better than what we've seen with some shows here recently where the critics have been just slobbering all over themselves. Like, um, oh, I don't know. Um, hmm, let's see here. Hmm. Hmm, what was that show not that long ago that was so bad? Oh, yeah, The Acolyte. That's right. Remember the Acolyte, the critics loved it, but the fans hated it. Speaking of which, let's check something out just real quick here while I work. Now this is surprising. That Agatha all along is 78% critic score, 80% viewership score. I, I'm surprised to see that. But again, I haven't seen the first two episodes of Agatha all along, so that's on my list to watch and, and critique for myself. But getting back to the Penguin, so there you have it. Samba TV and Variety. They're saying the show's pretty decent. Episode one, and from what I've seen online so far, people are liking what they're seeing. Now again, We'll see how this plays out as the season goes along. If it maintains its momentum that episode one has given it. So there you have it. Comment down below. Have you seen the penguin yet? What are your thoughts? Love to hear what you guys have to say. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you everyone, both new and returning viewers for watching. And with that, I will see you guys later.